Hi there once again and welcome to another Expresso Mechanic tutorial and this is the third instalment in the Python Bytes set of tutorials in which we're going to be looking at scale. So we're using the matrix array once again but we're looking at the third element of it which is scaling. Okay and there's two methods here again that I'm going to be showing you and they're both pretty simple. In fact the scale is probably the simplest part uh, of the matrix array. It's very very easy to use. But anyway, that's what we're about in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's see if we can make this happen. Our first port of call is to get a cube. We'll make it 20 by 20 by 20. And we'll give it a fillet. And as usual, I'll just take that down to uh, one actually fill it radius down to one centimeter that's what I want great and with our cube selected we'll hold down our alt key and bring in a cloner and start working here now let's see what we can do so we do what three by three will be fine for what we're doing here we'll make it 21 by 0 by 21 and that gives us an array of clones as we want them just move those away a little bit so that we're where we can see them and also in the transform here once again I'll bring in the indexes so that we can see them and change the color um, let's have I don't know let's do a nice green color shall we we'll just something a little bit different from red we'll use green instead that'll do nicely okay that's fine so we've got our cloner set up ready to go and the next thing we need to do with our cloner selected is bring in a Python effector. We'll move to a scripting layout. We'll set full control, open the arrow effector and remove the loop and hit execute. And we're ready to go. Before we get into coding, I'm just going to bring in a plane effector and illustrate what we're about here with in terms of what we're going to do now we've got a scale box here in the parameter tab and if we click on there we can see that we've got two types of scaling uniform and absolute now if I click on uniform we've only got a single parameter that goes in there so that controls all three axes and scales the clone along all three axes at the same time but if we uncheck that and we'll just click on the box for absolute scale you can see that we can scale the X Y and Z axes individually so using a vector and we can do exactly the same in Python so let's just remove the plane effector because we don't need that anymore come into our Python editor and we'll work with clone zero I think it's the easiest thing to do just work with that particular clone now what we'll do is simply say ma dot scale and then in here I just need to put or rather ma, actually I need to say ma bracket zero let's get things right so in my brackets here I can say if I just say 1.0 and they are floating values that you, you put in there if I execute that well nothing happens because they're all at 1.0 but if I put 0.5 in there and execute that now our initial clone is half the size of all the others similarly we can go bigger so if I say 2.0 in there and execute now we've got a clone that's twice the size of all the other clones so that's a uniform scale that's all you need to do it's literally that simple to do a uniform scale but moving on from here, we'll do something that's a little bit more complex and we'll look at absolute scale and we'll use a vector value to do that. Right, let's continue. So if we say X is equal to and we'll just say 0.3, Y is equal to, let's say, 1.6 and Z is equal to, let's say, I suppose, 0.7 we'll just just make the thing a bit of an odd shape and then we can say vect is equal to c4d dot vector x 
x comma y comma z and then our mask scale we can simply say vect execute that and as you can see we've now got a rectangular shaped clone that's being scaled in all three or along all three axes at the same time and that's how it works it's it's, it's actually quite simple but we won't end things here we'll take things a little bit further and we'll put a for loop in we'll also bring in some randomization as well and have a little bit of a play with that but what we'll do first is just use a simple for loop uh, and we'll experiment with making the array of clones scale uniformly I think first we'll just have a look at that first and, and see how that works so what we're going to do I'll, de I'll just leave all of these here because I don't need to use them at the moment but what I can say is for i in range and I'll put cnt for count and then all I need to do is say ma i dot scale and then I can say float and I have to say float because I'm using I'm going to be using i which is an integer and I need to change that into a float so float i divided by 10 and let's see what we get when we do that let's see where we are just got to close my brackets there because I'm getting an error if I go into Python I've got an error in there and there we go we've scaled them uniformly but the only thing is we've got one missing so what I'm going to do is add 0.1 to that value and now we've got all of our clones visible and you can see that they're being scaled uniformly in a sequence so that's working quite nicely that's the first sort of thing that we can do if you want to play around with things like that you can use a for loop and do this but we could do something more interesting by using random values and that's where we're going to go next we'll import the random module then so import random and that's from python as opposed to cinema 4d for anyone who doesn't know okay so that's in and it's ready to go so what we can then say we'll take these and we'll place them inside our for loop place those in there and they're ready to go but we don't need these values so we'll just take those away for now so that they're not equal to anything what we'll do first is start with a new variable for a, a random number so we'll say rnd is equal to random dot uniform random dot uniform this will allow us to generate a range of numbers between a set uh, two set values that we define so we'll say point two comma one so we'll go from a value of or a scale of point two to a scale of one which is effectively the normalized scale as all clones are set to it initially and then from here we can say x is equal to rnd we can then copy this code place it here and say y is equal to rnd and then simply repeat the process once again so we're generating three random numbers and we're passing them to the x, y and z's of our vector which we can then copy or rather remove from there paste in here and that's fine and then all we need to do is say ma i and what I'll do here I'll just comment this out so I'll put a hash in front of it make it go green and then we'll put ma brackets i dot scale and then simply put vect in there and let's see what happens when we execute this and straight away all of our clones are now completely random shapes so that's worked beautifully for us and of course if you keep clicking on the return to the start of the animation it will keep changing similarly it will do the same if you press play all a little bit fast mind you but effectively we've you know that that is albeit a simple one 
that is a Python effector that we've created there that randomly changes the scale of our clones. So it's a very, very simple Python effector. And that's it. You know, that's how you use scale. So you can use it uniformly or you can use an absolute scale by using vector values. Perfectly simple. And as I say, I think this is certainly the simplest element of the matrix array. But uh, but anyway, that's what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. And that just about wraps this one up. So as I always say, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. And of course, ring the bell. And wherever you happen to be on social media, please, please share this video because all of this good stuff helps to keep the channel moving in the right direction. But anyway, that brings the curtain down on this one. So I'll see you very soon on the next tutorial.